All right, guys, creating a video today because I was challenged and I rose to that challenge about what three things in my life that I have learned that I can contribute, that I can give back, that have led me to be a high performer. Now, I don't consider myself to be the highest of performers, but I'm certainly on my way and it's definitely an area of interest for me. So thing number one, learn from others. You don't have enough time in life to make your own mistakes or to try out all the different ways. My dad, when I was very young, he told me, if you ever wanna know how to do something the best, find an old guy who's been doing it forever, sit down and listen, right? Listen, they'll teach you everything you wanna know. So I did, and I, I studied with a lot of different people in a lot of different areas, and I learned not necessarily only what they were teaching, but also how they were teaching it, how their thought processing went, how they went through each individual piece of what they were doing, how they laid it out and organized it. And I noticed there were some common trends throughout those things. And that's what really got me excited because my parents always told me I could do whatever I want. Uh, you could be anything you wanted to be, which is really exciting. So I didn't think that there was any area that I shouldn't study because if you could do anything, you should know everything. It made sense to me. And I also learned something else. Good advice is good advice regardless of the source. Some, some of my best friends have given me bad advice and some of my worst enemies have given me great advice. It, it's just about how teachable you are, how willing you are to make that work for you. So, second thing, orange juice. The only kind of juice you get from an orange is orange juice, no matter how you squeeze it. If that's a bitter orange, you're going to get bitter orange juice. If it's a sweet orange, you get the concept. How this applies to you as a person is what, how you load the hopper. What do you put in every day? What is your inspiration? What is your vision? What are your goals? What are you driving after? That, but that also comes down to self-care. How are you taking care of yourself? What are you doing to maintain your body, your lifestyle? What is your health status? What is your level of effect? A lot of that has to do with what kind of orange are you? But that also takes into consideration the fact that you need to sharpen the saw. Now, these are not my original concepts. Either these are things that I've gathered into my life to make my life a better performance. So that concept of orange juice, you produce what you are. Every expression is an expression of self. Therefore, who you are determines what you do. That's incredibly important. So sharpen the saw. Do what you do, but spend time to get better at it. Take time to, to step away so you can come back refreshed. The next piece, work will win when wishing will not. That's a quote by B.J. Palmer. Fantastic. And what that says is you can have all the knowledge in the world. You could soak yourself in gasoline, but you don't start to burn until you light yourself on fire. Now, don't, don't go light yourself on fire. The point is, though, you can't just saturate yourself with these things. You have to activate. You have to have that spark, that charge that really motivates you. And that's the principles that drive you. That's what wakes you up and excites you and gets you moving in the morning. And I know that I know what mine is. I know what my why is. I know why I get up and go out into the world every day is because I've spent years and years and years and years accumulating all of this knowledge, figuring out how life goes and what I can do to contribute and where the most impact I can have is. And that's what gets me out of bed because I know that there's people out there waiting to get help, things that I can do to help them. One of the other things that comes along with that, thinking and working and dreaming and visions and nose to the grindstone, all those things are really good concepts, but you have to have a framing statement to put it all into perspective. And what, what really helped me with that was you have to plan the work, work the plan, but never think and work at the same time. See, the work's rough, it's difficult, it's challenging, but if you know that the plan is good and every once in a while you stop to reevaluate, while you're in the minute, maybe it's not pleasant. Maybe you're doing things that are outside of your comfort zone. You just know that you stick to the plan and you keep moving forward. A lot of times I see time, I see people that their heart's in it, but as soon as it gets challenging, they start questioning whether they're going in the right direction and then they lose their focus. So plan the work, work the plan, never think and work at the same time. To recap, work will win when wishing will not. 
The only kind of juice you get from an orange is orange juice. Better yourself. Make yourself a better person. The better you are, the better you can do. And everyone has something to teach you. So always do your best to learn from others. I'm really excited to share this with you guys, and I hope it helps. Let me know. Leave some comments below. Shoot me a message. I'm on Facebook. I'm available because this is part of my journey, too. So if you have anything you contribute to me, I would love to hear it. Thank you so much.